guys, as per requested by Miss Charlie's Angel, today's video will be on creating a basic sheath dress pattern. We'll be manipulating a basic bodice pattern by adding darts, cutting it and elongating it. I'll be going over the equipment and materials we'll be needing and then we'll be going through a few measurements we need for this particular tutorial and then I'll be showing you guys how to go ahead and create the pattern. Okay guys, for this tutorial we'll need a front and back basic bodice patterns, a roll of paper, a ruler, a pair of scissors, a pen, a scalpel if you decide to put in waist darts, a measuring tape, and pins. The first measurement we're going to take is the skirt length and we'll be measuring from the waist down to the desired length of the dress and add 3.5 centimeters to that. Our second measurement is the leg round measurement where we measure around the area of the desired length, legs set apart and divide by four and add 3.5 centimeters. First thing we'll do is take out a paper roll and lay out our front bodice pattern flat so we know how much we need. Fold it over once deciding how much is needed and cut so you have two pieces of paper for both the front and the back patterns. Fold these papers in half so we can trace our patterns onto them. We'll then line up the folded edge of the front pattern to the folded edge of the paper and pin it down. We then trace around the pattern but only from the waist up. Drawing a line across to close off the pattern. We then add in the bust line. I'm going to add in a shoulder dart on my dress. You can use any dart you prefer. So I'll find and mark the center of the shoulder, bust and waistline and then join the dots. I'll label this as the front and cut the pattern out. And now cut along the dart line. I'm just using candles as weights to show you guys the final result. Remember all the pieces are pattern pieces so you have to add seam allowance around the dart lines, the sides of the bodice, bottom edge and shoulders. Also don't forget not to add seam allowance to the neckline and armhole. I'm just going to pin them together so they don't fly away and put them to the side. Now I'll be doing to the back as I did to the front. I'm going to use my front basic bodice pattern 
to add the bust lines to the back pattern as I'm also going to put in shoulder darts on the back. I'm going to label this as the back. And now we're going to cut out the pattern and along the dart line. Now back to our roll of paper. Fold over just enough to fit at least 5cm from the basic bodice pattern shoulder length across and cut it out. Now place the front basic bodice pattern folded edge to folded edge at least 5cm from the bottom. Once lined up, trace around the neckline and when you get to the shoulder, 5cm across. Now remove your basic bodice pattern and randomly along the curve of your neckline, mark 5cm from it. Mark it as frequently as you need and then join the dots. Now cut along the lines and label front collar facing. We'll repeat that process now for the back and label the back collar facing. We're now going back to our paper roll and measuring out and marking our skirt length across the roll. My paper roll is pretty big so I'm going to be measuring it a few times along the length. Now we're going to join the dots and cut along that line. I'm now just folding it across lengthways. Lining up my front basic bodice pattern from the waistline to the top of the, the piece of paper, folded edge to folded edge, I'm going to trace out the line from my waist to hip. On the other end of the paper, I'm going to mark my leg round measurement. Using a ruler, I'm going to draw up at an angle from my leg round measurement just a bit. And then I'm going to draw a slight curved line freehand to my hip point. The wider you want your dress to be around your legs, or wherever you have your desired length, the larger your leg round measurement will be. Therefore, the dress will have more flair. I'm going to be continuing the shoulder darts down the rest of the dress. So now I'm going to add my hip width using the basic bodice pattern and mark it center. Same as adding my waistline center and then I'll join the points together. Next I'm going to find the center of my leg round measurement and mark it. And then do the same along a random spot along the skirt. Now I'll join the dots to create my dart line. Now to cut around the pattern. And along the dart line. Once laid out, it should look like this. Same rules apply to this section of the pattern, where seam allowance is crucial, along the darts and around the rest of the pattern. This pattern works for both front and back of the dresser skirt. It's up to you if you want to add a zip. And that's how you create the pattern for a basic shape dress. If you guys go ahead and create this garment, um, it should look like something like this. And if you have made it, please 
send me a photo or a video. I'd love to see how it worked out for you. Um, we hope you liked and this, you know, this tutorial was helpful. And if so, please like it below. Um, and if you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave it in the comments section below. Uh, and last but not least, subscribe to my suspicious. The Black Diamond crew appreciates your loyalty. Please subscribe, like, and comment, and take a look at our other tutorials. Learn how to make a basic bodice pattern, a basic sleeve pattern, a basic top, and how to put darts in a bodice. And last of all, Happy New Year.